I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Woke Wednesday takes on canceling Superman. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharon is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults. They need that gospel. We need this gospel in these dark times. It's Woke Wednesday, which means we are talking to Erica Jacoby. She is the face that runs the place in Higher Things. She is the executive director of, of, of Higher Things and also a former uh, public school teacher. She has our resident expert on all things woke. How's it going, Erica? I just have to be more woke than you. That's the only requirement. That doesn't take much. <laughs> Doing well. Happy birthday, Pastor Borker. It's your birthday today. Now, this is recorded on, on my birthday, and I'm super duper happy. Well, except about this. I know. You Who love wants to Superman. cancel? Who wants to cancel? The Man of Steel. I can't even look at you. I'm upset. Who wants to get the Man of Steel? <laughs> what's Tell me what's going on. So let's review what cancel means or to be canceled. So Urban Dictionary, which is always fun to look things up on, um, says that when you're canceled, it means that you are over with, done for, no redemption, and people want you gone. That's what to be canceled means. Or in other words, in this case, um, a broader definition is withdrawing support for a public figure and or companies after they have done or said something considered to be objectionable or offensive. So our man of steel, who is actually the actor, Henry Cavill, I think I'm saying his name right, uh, who played Superman in the movies most recently. And he's also a big star on Netflix as The Witcher. He's done several other things. I'm actually kind of a big fan of his. Um, so he got canceled. Um, some social media users are trying to cancel him uh, because they found out that he dated the Mandalorian star, Gina Carano, back in 2013, and they're not happy about it. Now, Gina Carano has already been canceled. Um, here's what the users said on social media. One user said, Henry Cavill dated uh, Gina Carano. Do you know what that means? Cancel Henry Cavill, cancel Disney Plus, can or hashtag fire Gina Carano. Um, that actually happened. She did get fired. Whilst another user shared, every time I see Gina, uh, Gina Carano news, I can't help but think Henry Cavill, bro, what type of bleep crap, fill in crap, are you into? So that's why they want to cancel him because of who he dated eight years ago. All right. Now, just so that people know. Who's the Gina lady? Okay, so Gina Carano, you probably know who she is, not as well as probably Henry Cavill, but she uh, was a, um, had a pretty big role on The Mandalorian, if you're a fan of The Mandalorian. Are you a fan she's of The Mandalorian? The, she's the rebel. She is the rest, kind of the wrestler lady. Um, her, her character was Cara Dune. She was one of the good guys who helps out The Mandalorian. But she's already been canceled for real in kind of a big way. So back... Way back in November 2020, during election time, uh, she was canceled online after she began posting on her social media um, uh, stuff about not wearing masks, possibly during the pandemic. Um, people said she was anti-mask. Uh, then in February 2021, she got in really big trouble, which led to her being fired by Disney. Um, she voiced some pretty unpopular opinions posted a series of controversial posts. Um, it's now deleted, so you can't find it anymore. But she likened being a modern day Republican to being Jewish during the Holocaust, uh, because sort of basically because you can't say what you want to say. Uh, and then she also posted a photo of people wearing masks with the caption, meanwhile, in California. So kind of further reinforcing the anti-mask stance. So it, the dislike for her got so intense on social media that Lucasfilm, who um, owns The Mandalorian, uh, ended up firing her. So there's a big backlash. And they said, um, they made a statement 
that Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. They also said um, that her social media posts were abhorrent uh, and said, nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people uh, based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. So it's guilt by association, essentially, right? So he dated her eight years ago on and off for like a year and she's really been vilified and hated for some of the things that she said. And so now because he dated her, she should be, she, he needs to be canceled too. So that's the, the, the logic behind it. Sure. And I think this is an extreme example of it, right? But all joking aside, cause it seems kind of silly. Um, I really don't want to be defined by maybe the people I dated in high school and college, you know, I mean, <clears throat> but, uh, it is kind of scary, Pastor Borghart, to think, first of all, how easy it is to make people angry in social media and how that sort of becomes okay. And it's just very anti-Christian. So what is a Christian to kind of think or do in this environment? Can you put us in, uh, put it in kind of the Christian context that, that well, I don't, I don't really, what's it about? Yeah, I think that the the key here is to sort of We need to understand that this is anti-Christian. The idea that your sins can shun get you shunned. Um, Not even your sins, right? Your friends, right? Who you who you hung with is sort of it's a little over the top. You know, um, the um, the thing to look at is Jesus, who he who he counts his friends. Um, Jesus eats with sinners. Uh, that's what he does. He he dines with people who he shouldn't dine with and hangs with people he shouldn't hang with. Just like Superman. And, except for Superman's for truth, right. justice, and the American way. <laughs> right. Which right. I would have thought Superman would have been canceled just because of the American way part. But right. um, sure. <laughs> um, but my uh my 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 take on this is we see in God how we aren't <laughs> uh we we shun people for the things that we do we we shame them for the sins that we've done and we cancel them for the things that we just simply haven't been caught yet doing and we're afraid to stand up for it because then we'll get canceled too and so is this like sort of a uh, uh just an unloving avalanche of unlove um Thankfully, God doesn't work that way. God does not cancel sinners. God dies for sinners. God does not is not too good to sit with those that are not um, not worthy of Him sitting next to them. He's the God who dies for them. He's the God who dies for them. And so I, th I think that we need to we need to be very very careful about canceling anyone or anything because I think we get on the cancel train too. Sometimes because we we actually think the person needs to be canceled, and other times because we're so used to that's the new thing, um, we need to get off that. And the place to go, I think, is the suffering and death of Jesus. How is how is how does my Lord handle sin? He dies for it. He forgives it, as opposed to how I handle sin, which is which is shun, judge, cancel, and then commit the same sins that I'm shunning people with. Like, so, so Henry's sin is that he dated somebody 10 years ago or whatever. Um, Lord, save us from such judgment. Thank God that God's not like this, that God is not a cancel God. God is a die for God. God is a, I eat with sinners, God. God is, I ba I'm baptized a baptism of with sinners to save them. That's the truth of this. Final thoughts, Erica. Well, just that I, I'm relieved. I'm a poor, middle, miserable sinner. And I'm really thankful that in Jesus, I can't be canceled. <laughs> that's, right. That's, that's pretty awesome. And even if they do, you still have a savior. Right. He's if never going to cancel, cancel me, I'm never going to be canceled by God because of right, the son. Right. right. All right. Erica Jacoby is the executive director of Higher Things. She's the face that runs the place. Wow. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Happy birthday. So, amen. So the gift in all of this is to remember 
um, how distinctly different our Savior is, who dies for us rather than cancels us. We deserve for God to cancel us, not man. And he refuses to. Instead, he ends his son in order to save us. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, daring you to be Lutheran. Having a blast while we're doing it. And this has been another Higher Things video short.